Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the podcast. I have with me a very special guest named Ira Schinkman. She is an artist and a painter. And uh, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. How are you, guys? I'm good. So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your work, your paintings mainly? Yeah, I can do that, no problem. Um, you know, uh, when somebody asking me to talk about myself, yeah, I immediately start to feel as if I'm in a job interview. And okay. it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of, you know, uh, I beat, uh, how shall I tell you, it is funny and it is a bit boring because, you know, like uh, no man can give me job. Yeah, I have my job, thank you. So um, I'm I'm like, you know, I'm kind of a bit confused. I mean, what what is this person wants from me? What, what does he mean, yeah, to talk about myself? I mean, yeah. what, is it? what is it? To generally introduce yourself and outlines, you know, just the mm -hmm. necessary um, parts, the important parts that are representing yourself. Okay. Try to, to get your, uh, <laughs> your general demeanor, if you know, general you get my demeanor. trick. Let's start, please. Let's start, please, with the, this, like, you know, specific lines. I mean, uh, what did you say that, like, uh, you want to know, uh, maybe, uh, about the artist that you're interviewing that you don't know nothing about, yeah? And maybe you want to know how did he start to paint or what causing him to paint, yes. yeah? Or what causing him to make this and this art, yeah? This is, it, it, it might be interesting. I don't know whether it will be interesting, but it might be, yeah? And it is somehow a bit more specific than, than about yourself, you know? Yes, so, uh, yes. Just yeah. uh, to, just to get the general spirit of the person. Yeah. That's, that's the goal. I'm not well, trying... I know, you started already together to general feeling. No, I'm not trying to in investigate anyone about know, their, their personal know. lives, yeah. I know, I know, guy. So when we started to talk, uh, this is the moment that you started to gather information about this person, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not Isn't working, <laughs> I'm not working for any spy agency I know. Or, bu or bureau, I yeah. Guy, you're so funny. You're so funny, really. Thank it's, you. It's, yeah, you are. Uh, I, you know, I see your face. Yeah, <clears throat> and the light is coming on the same side. Yeah. You want to paint me? To paint my portrait? Uh, that's what I'm doing now, and the light is coming from the same side. Yeah. Mm. And we see each other. Yeah, and the shadow is from the same side. Okay. And it is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Mm. Yeah, I have also a, a kind of associative thinking. I'm just mm. my my thinking is spread out across a lot of different topics and subjects at mm. once, and I think yeah. you you have the same. I'm also mm. uh, I'm also a painter but uh, i'm not i'm not good uh, i'm better wow, at, uh, this is so modest uh, guy this is <laughs> what? the most modest thing i ever heard <laughs> i'm really i'm truly i'm not good the with the best brush thing i ever heard guy <laughs> what wow this i'm, I'm no I'm, i like to i like to draw mainly okay. to draw with okay. pencils and brushes and yeah. black ink yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, <laughs> um, do you want to talk about your your works? Because I have prepared a, a PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. It consists with a collection of different areas in your work. 
Yeah. Um, and if, if you want to talk about it or you want me to ask you, why did you become an artist? Although yeah. I think this question is already arbitrary, I think, or gratuitous yeah, I, at this point. I'm going to reply to what you said. Uh, first of all, I'm very thankful to you that you did what you did because it, I, I'm not sure you're usually doing that. Yeah, I'm not sure that like you get you gain the paintings and you're making yeah the platform. Yeah, and, and I'm not sure you're usually doing that. And I'm very I did it, yeah, I did it once. Yeah, it's well, it is it is good to, to I do need it. I need to yeah. thank you because you. You made the paintings. I did mm. not. No, okay, no problem. <laughs> That's why uh, you're you're the subject of the interview. But I understand we we can throw throw all the formalities away. We don't have to be eloquent and. No, we don't have to. No. We don't have to use the regular etiquette. As we say. Yeah, A, A, B, too busy, B, I'm already enjoying talking to you, you know? <laughs> like, uh, Thank you, you so much. Like human, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Um, we lack a lot of humanity and humility yeah. in this world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. True, um, true. So I'm going to start. Just a wait a minute, wait a minute, B. Um, the question, actually, the formal question of how is person, uh, you know, kind of uh, beginning uh, the process of uh, painting in his life? How each person, because each person meets it in uh, uh, different ways. It, it, each person meets it in uh, um, different circumstances. Um, and uh, I guess it is interesting, I guess. You know, that's why I ask every painter yeah. or artist, how it do is, they yeah. start? Because it's very different. It's very yeah. different. The, there is there. It's like a comic book hero. Mm -hmm. How does a comic book hero get his powers? Right. Yes. Yeah, it's funny. So I like it. Yeah. So how do uh, you get your powers? If you if you still yeah, want to no answer that question. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, yes. You know, uh, when I first found out, when I first found out uh, in quite early stage that there is uh, an ability, yeah, and uh, existence of a white paper, yeah, and a pencil, for example, or something else, I don't know, say, a pencil, a paint, paint, yeah, something else. And then, you know, you can, on a white paper, yeah, you take a pencil. I get, take it, I got the drift, yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> take a pencil and to draw something on it. It yeah. was, man, elevation. It was amazing because yeah. you're taking it and then the line comes, yeah? The lion, the lion comes. The lion, you can. The lion can, comes. Uh, the lion, the lion, yeah. Lion. Yeah, the lion, lion, yes. The lion comes. Yeah. Yeah, like that. It mm. comes, it just comes. The, this is the tool. Yeah, you did not create this tool. Mm. You just fire, you see fire. It. I, I also draw, I see this. Great. Good. Yes. Good. I like it. Comics. It's, I like, and that's why yeah, we talked about it's comics. Japanese it. Japanese comics. It's called manga. Manga. It's all right. I'm sure can you, you know. Yeah. Can you can you show it closer? Closer. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's even. Signed and beneath the eye, the each bottom. eye. Yes. Beneath each eye, it is. Uh, letter Z, yeah? Yeah, it's a... Finish it high. Yeah, so it's, it's kind nice. of a blush. It's kind of a right. blush, yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit older, yeah. They have that shape. 
the the eye okay. socket the eye socket has a z shape yeah from the wrinkles the wrinkles oh that's great yeah. Yeah. It looks like a geometrical mathematical question that each. You, you get in a. Uh, each hand, each human hand contains geometrical mathematical question. That's right. Yes. Each, all each the universe, hand. all the universe consists. I think someone said it. Someone said <laughs> this, this phrase, or maybe I made it up, but there is no way I would make up such a great phrase to say okay. that mathematics okay. are the poem of the universe okay. is the the poetry of the universe okay um, i great. said it once i said it once in some uh, conference or i don't know what the context was anymore anymore i can't remember but uh i don't know if i made it up so I'm some kind of a genius, but if I haven't, then I'm, I will be very disappointed if, <laughs> I, yeah, if so. I were to find out that I wasn't the first to say. Look. Yeah, uh, th uh, there is, you know, uh, collective mind, yeah? Collective mind of humanity, right? Yeah. And so each and every one of us has uh, ability to touch it from time to time when we need it, yeah? Yes. And so I guess yeah. you touched it, yeah? yeah. It's a, called I a collective unconscious. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. need to become conscious about it in order to speak, in order yes. to pull out the words. But do you believe that there is some kind of a inspiration that comes to an artist that comes comes from up above mm -hmm. is there is there a heavenly muse that sings heavenly. to you to sing that sings beautiful yeah. words into your ear and gets you inspired yeah. yeah is there something like that of course of course yeah you just hear the sound you have no understanding whatsoever. Yeah. You have no clue what are you hearing at all because you're just human being. Yeah, you do not understand. So you just go and do because it makes you to act, you know? It is an action and you mm. need to do it. That's it. Yeah, I get a feeling of this sort, but nowadays in the modern age, if someone yeah. will, would to say, that his mm -hmm. art was was the, inspired by the divine, by yeah. God, by God, or yeah. some okay. kind of some kind of muse. He will yeah. be hospitalized. I For, was once. forcibly, yeah. I was once, yes, and not because I was saying what you said, but because uh, I was tired, re really. Yeah, and I'm not proud to say at all. Yeah, but I wanted um, to stop, you know, to stop everything because I was tired, you know, and it is human feeling and I couldn't, uh, you know, hold it anymore. And I was tired and I wanted to stop it all, you know, and yeah, and no, I wasn't uh, in those stages uh, kind of uh, speaking about divine. Yeah, because it's not divine to stop it all, yeah? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, um... I understand the, the feelings, but I haven't... I've never... I've always contemplated my own mortality as yeah. a human on this earth. Um, yeah. The great uh, philosophical questions, the controversial questions that everybody starts with, when they start mm. teaching or learning or studying uh, ethics and stuff like this is the questions of, of living. Is it yeah. the, to be or not to be? That mm. is the question. Whether it is nowhere right. in the mind to stop. Yeah. Right. Um, 
Yeah, um, Hamlet is one of my favorite uh, books. I consider it a book, I but it's also a play. Yeah, I'm yeah. not that. Uh, I'm not that uh, arrogant. Let's say mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of critiques. Um, it's it's a kind of a book of uh, youthful rebellion. Mm. Uh, it's not. Um, it's now that I'm a little bit older. Um, mm -hmm. I'm starting to be more balanced in mind. Yeah. Yeah. And to understand that there is a society mm. and uh, in my immedi immediate vicinity that there are people yeah. that need my attention and I need their attention. And I'm a social yeah. creature as a yeah. homo sapien. Yes. Um, and now I feel that Hamlet is a lonely mythological creature it doesn't exist. There is no one that can cure himself out of the depression and immediately start killing his family members because he thought that, that the king had inherited, had killed his father. No one, no one would do that. So it's unrealistic. Um, it's very philosophical. It's very self-serving um, through the entire uh, play. Um, but I think we need to get off the topic because we, we need to stay on track, I think, in some, some measure. But that already went out the window in the first two minutes of the conversation. But uh, now we can talk if you would allow me to, yeah. to show some of your works. Yeah. And you it's will good. speak to the veracity, to the technique, to the inspiration no. that got no. you working on the works. Okay? Let's go. Yeah. And each, each and every one individually. Yeah, just, let's go. Just a moment. Yes. Well, let's go. This is the front page. As a, a nice, uh, nice lettering. Yeah. yeah. Just a moment. This is the first one that I picked out. And um, can you talk a, a little bit about this piece? Sure. No problem. Um, it makes me smile, yeah, all the time it makes me smile. Um, you see, each, uh, each piece is just a part of uh, everyday life and what is happening to you, yeah? And there is uh, something strong uh, to cause you to do this or the other, yeah? It's just some, something has happened. And life is a strong uh, happening, yeah, if I may. Strong happening every time, every minute. Not, uh, beautiful, surprising, uh, like that, you know? I mean, sometimes yeah. you're very surprised. I mean, you wasn't thinking to yourself that it is possible, yeah? But it is possible, you know. Mm. So, um, Corona, yeah, Corona. Lock. Uh, I'm locked up. Yeah, I'm, I'm at my house. I'm locked up. I cannot. Uh, I mean, I can go out wearing mask um, for uh, one hundred meters. So I like a dog, you know. You're going one, you have a chain, yeah? You have a chain that as long as 100 meters, yeah? Then you reach the point, then you go back like that. Yes. So, but uh, no problem, no problem. I mean, I, I'm in my house, I'm in my space, yeah? yeah? No problem. So, 
what Corona gave to the people, really, it is the ability to uh, communicate in a way that was existing, yeah? But uh, at the moment, those were the only ways to communicate with each other, yeah? So Zoom, Facebook, uh, the, you know, uh, Instagram, the, those were the ways because you sit at home, you locked up, you, as you said, you are a human being who, uh, homo sapiens, uh, who needs to communicate. Yeah, needs. Yeah, I mean, we're existing as one together. Yeah, so we need to communicate. And then there is no other choice for us to continue. Right? And yeah. so, uh, I was doing it myself and I got to know a um, few people that they were doing it as well. You see, a painter, he needs to have a model from time to time, right? He needs to draw it just in order to... Uh, um, to find, find uh, new patterns. No, not to find anything. You just like your hands, yeah? So you need to trade them. You need to train them from time to time, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah. Right? You need I to train them. I mean, you can uh, uh, dive into your own and you, you're training the hands and mm -hmm. uh, you're doing all the time. But from time to time, you just need to train this connection between the eye and the, and the hand and the heart. Yeah, it, it must be trained. It's a muscle, mm. yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. that, so, that's an in interesting perspective. Yeah. It is a muscle, yeah? Well, when you say, yeah, when you say you have to have a life a life a model, live mm. model, yeah? Mm. Um, mm. The, you have to train the, the, the hands and the, and the, the eyes. That's, that's very interesting. The, Connection the, between the eye and the hand and the heart. Yeah. <laughs> this system needs to yeah, be like a yeah. form of teeth, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, it's, it reminds me of the, the phrase that Picasso said that the, 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 idea, the, the idea flows flows from the head to the heart, into the mm -hmm. hand, and then yeah. into the brush of the painter. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Picasso, he is the greatest, you know, we're... Uh, kind of standing under, you know, you were standing under, <laughs> trying to understand what the hell was he saying, you know? Yeah, anyway. but, but I think also uh, Salvador Dali is also yeah. I, someone I really, I think I like better now than Picasso in many okay. ways, but it's okay. just a personal opinion, so mm. it doesn't matter. So we'll no move on, okay? No, I wasn't finished. I oh, no. Finish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> no problem. I, was just, it, I was just giving the background. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, so I was doing it myself, and I met a few people that uh, uh, was doing it the same, because uh, I understand that the artist each artist, me, uh, you, uh, whatever artist is there sitting at home, he needs to have this kind of training and a model. Yeah. Uh, you're making uh, online drawing sessions, right? And what is online drawing sessions? Yeah. It is uh, a model sitting in front of you in Zoom, you know, yeah, on a computer uh, screen. And she is beautiful, and you can sense her uh, breath. Yeah, she's so close and so far away, right? She is on your computer screen. There would be no way in real life, in a real drawing session, that you could get so close to this model. And yet, she is unreal. She's just computer screen. Yeah, and so. Uh, the painters gather around, each one, it is a square on a computer screen, as I see you now, square of a computer screen, 
pixels. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you are as well, yeah, know that you are to the other square on a computer screen, but you yourself, yeah, you sit at home and you, you train your hand and you're doing what you need to do, you know. Um, so this model, that's why I stopped you because I need to talk about this model, yeah? Yeah, of she, course. She is a very specific person with a very specific personality, right? Uh, her name is Janik Ballet. Janik Ballet. You can look up in the internet, no problem. Nowadays, yeah, you say the name, you can go to the internet, find out. So do yourself a favor, right? <laughs> find out. <laughs> right. So um, the drawing session wa was like that. Janik Ballet holding a book like this, standing completely naked as was born, right? And reading her poetry. That's what she does, <laughs> right? That's what she does. So in the five first minutes, my mind was so blown up that I couldn't paint at all, at all, man. I was hearing the African beat, right? Of uh, uh, poetry that she's reading, strong woman, long legs, long hands, beautiful face, right? And she's giving it to you as naked, yeah, as she can be, and as fully um, clothed as she can be. And she's giving it to you by words, by beat, by music, right? By poetry, mathematical poetry that you were talking about. And she's in front of you, Janik Ballet, right? Yeah, I said that the math is the poetry of the universe. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm. Each 20 minutes, she's changing a pose. She's changing it accordingly to the poetry she's uh, reading. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. one piece of a poetry ends, okay? We clap our hands because, I mean, we cannot speak, you know, it's, it's uh, unspeakable, right? <laughs> yeah. really. it's, a sight, so, it's a sight to behold, yes. Oh, it, for sure. I, was, I was amazed. My heart was singing. Her words gave me so much, you know, tasty food, right? <laughs> I, I could not imagine that I'm going to see this, you know? I could not. It was so surprising. I, I have no idea who she is then, you know, I have no idea. Yeah, for me, it was just another drawing session that I attended, right? And I was about to train my hand. That's it. That's what I was about to do. I have no idea, yeah? It was, it was just amazing, right? She blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's very, it's very, uh, I don't know. It's very festive, very, mm -hmm. uh, very burlesque, maybe even, yeah. in some ways, but yeah. burlesque in a, in a good sense that it's mm. it's a pseudo uh, intellectual, artistic, uh, vibrant. It's um, I like the the visceral the visceral nature, but but art is the mm. tool that tames nature. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be. Right. The artist is uh, is aloof. He is distant from all the objectives uh, and the subjects that he draws. He shouldn't be influenced by those things, but. To have a uh, have a show that is so impressive, I think, and uh, and theatrical and tragic and comedic, yeah, and yeah, festive, yeah. it is it is quite a sight to behold. Because I'm also I, I write poetry, also yeah. I write plays. It's not surprising me, guy. That you write <laughs> I write. I write plays and short stories. Right. Um, 
and I, I think, yeah, associatively, and my imagination is always running at a yeah. thousand miles an hour. Right. Um, my this mind. Speed. Exactly this speed, right? Yeah, <laughs> my mind never stops racing. So right. I think that is the the taming part, is the communicative part with human beings, trying right. to exercise all the demons from your yeah. soul into the canvas that you are yeah. painting on. So yeah. this is a great skill because to be satisfied with your own creation is impossible. No. A, a true artist will never be satiated with his creation. It will never be, um, he will always have the hunger uh, running again after to continue, one right, to continue the yeah, way after okay. one hour or two hours the the hunger will yeah. surface again and you'll need to feed and the feeding right. process is the brush yeah. and the visceral yeah. physical things that's why exactly. i don't like to write on a computer i like to yeah. write longhand now i understand is, you because you need to train your hand yes oh, that's exactly I mean, yeah, you, you don't need to type it. You need to train it as a human being. Yes. Yeah? Right. Humans are, but at the end of the day, they are uh, still animals. They are not yeah. different from, from the no. wildlife, from the uh, wild, uh, wild kingdom, um, no. from nature. We are still... Uh, um, we're still a, um, a, a fetus when mm. it comes to species. We are right. one of the youngest species on earth. And mm. we're still, we're not, we're removed far enough from the animal to not be classified as animals or to be, or we're not, we're not a, a, a in, in inanimate ch subjects yeah. uh, we're not um, we're not stone or water or trees we are yeah. still moving talking thinking human beings yeah. um, so I think I took enough of your time and now we'll move on to uh, each minute of my time you took it was okay really. <laughs> it was all right with that yeah 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 I think this is a this is a natural uh, conversation. It's not formatted. No. I don't think we, have, we don't have a time limit. We don't have a discussion. Uh, I threw it out the window. This is a natural conversation at this oh. stage. Yes. So okay. let's go. Let's yes. go. For yes. Um, whoops. This one is a uh, is like yeah. a mythological theme, yeah. Mm. Mm. If I understood it correctly. Mm. So, and so yes. Another drawing session. Another uh, moment of Corona life, yeah. And this drawing session is uh, made by uh, my good friends sitting in Israel that I cannot go to, you know, I cannot. It's Corona, I'm locked up, and I used to meet two beautiful friends of mine, uh, kind of on a weekly basis, and I cannot meet them at the moment. <clears throat> because it's Corona, you know. And one of the uh, friends named Anna Kogan, and she's the model, right? And she's, uh, on my opinion, if I may, the most beautiful model, really. On my opinion, yeah, on my subjective opinion, she is the most beautiful of them all. And the second is a painter named Iris. And she was also making this drawing session, you know, because you need to eat something, right? And, uh, corona or not corona, you need to eat something, you need to do something that will 
uh, give you a little money uh, to order some food, you know, uh, to take care of your kids, right? So um, my friend here, she was uh, organizing drawing sessions as well. You pay very little money as an artist, really a minimum money. And so uh, you've been sent the link, Zoom link as you sent to me, yeah? After you pay the money, yeah? And then you can attend <clears throat> the beauty on your screen. And then you can attend, right? Yeah. yeah. So um, the drawing session was a theme one. And the theme was uh, <coughs> film noir, film noir, right? Yes. This was the theme. And so, because Iris is a painter, she knows how to uh, create the angles of a movie she wants to show on a screen. So it was four cameras. This is just one of the cameras, one of the ends. Mm. And it was four cameras. Each side is a glance to the movie that Iris wanted to show, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, there are, were two models, one of them, Anna Kogan, and the other, i very sorry, but I forgot the name. And I am very sorry because each name has a meaning, yeah? Yes. Each name pre presents something on your screen, right? So I, I am sorry that I forgot the name of the other. Uh, the situation is inside of the studio of uh, Iris. Here is the bottom. This is her name. Uh, inside of a Jewish house, yeah, with Mizuza, yeah. And the light is made beautifully, yeah. So you see the red face. And the light wasn't red, but like the somehow the face became red because it influenced by the red gloves, yeah. So you see the red blouse and Anna Kogan, she's sitting and smoking and the other one is standing behind her and she's ready for whomever comes in the door if he will do such stupid thing, yeah, to come through the door. So she's ready, you know? Yeah, ready to shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, no, not to shoot them, she just ready to, to, you know, to kind of to present the idea that like, uh, do you understand where you're coming to? You yeah. Know? yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. Now, if you understand, you need to decide you want to go inside or not. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. Depends so, on uh, what were you planning to do once, once inside and what were you doing there anyways? Yeah. 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 Uh, the the color palette reminds me reminds me a little bit of uh, Toulouse Lautrec, if I can yeah. say so. It has that that burlesque um, uh, yeah. theater theater showgirls uh, yeah. kind of vibe, but mm. it's it's actually rougher than the lines are rougher and the and the some some of them are softer and then. Then there are splashes of red. The film noir is basically, it was filmed in black and white. So yeah. the use of color is puzzling yeah. because you say if it's film noir themed, why mm. is it colored? Mm. <laughs> because it's Corona man in some days. That's, <laughs> yes. That's the way they answer. Yes, it looks like a nice uh, movie poster for some of the oh, well, some of well, the film noir. Yeah, some of the early '40s fil film noirs. Yeah, detective yeah. stories and spy stories and stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. It's yeah. elegant. It's not uh, too uh, uh, chic. It's mm. uh, not kitsch, kitschy, but it's mm. good. It's very good. Mm. Yes. Thank it you. has a nice composition and contrast between the first um, figure in the front and the second standing in the back. 
yeah yeah it's very attractive very alluring yeah yeah uh, le fatale. Exactly. Uh, exactly so i can uh, move on with your permission yeah. yes. no problem okay let's move on this is i thought was it, it's almost mythological it has that that vibrant um, ravaging uh, wind going through her hair yeah. it is so uh, it's such a striking image that mm -hmm. I, I paused uh, for uh, a couple of minutes before when I saw it because I think this is this is like it's it seems like a, a impressionistic a post impressionistic style with all mm. the lines and the heavy, heavy smurs with the mm. with the palette knife, mm. and it's very beautiful. And it seems like it should be a full figure. I think not a not a not a face portrait. Cool. Exactly. Cool. This cool. is great. She has a, the necklace that is that is about to fly off. It it's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot of people have have this attention to detail because I was a I was a graduate. I have a bachelor. It's a degree in history of arts from Bar, Bar Ilan University. Yeah, so I have a little bit of a pension for for art and for details. Yeah, because because I have a very good visual memory. That's why I yeah. strove for a career in art. So yeah. can you tell me uh, what went through your mind, the the process? No this problem. this is this no this seems like a like a crime of passion. I think. This, yeah. This <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is a crime of passion. Exactly, you said. It. Now, guy, I need to uh, kind of before I'm gonna start speaking about the painting, I need to say again uh, how much I enjoy talking to you, right? Because Thank a person you so who knows, much. Uh, because a person who knows a bit uh, uh, of history of art, meaning history of human being, uh, creative, each each and every one of us is creator, yeah. And a person who knows a bit uh, history of creative human mind is uh, uh, it's pleasure to talk to. What can I say? Oh. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the most knowledgeable, but I, I have. You are so modest as well, and it is as well. <laughs> so that's pleasure. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be modest. I'm I know. Just, I know. You're not I'm trying, trying to not. I'm trying to not be arrogant, because I hate. I absolutely yeah, exactly. hate, to exactly. my very core, to my very being. I hate arrogant people who think they know everything 24 7. i hate yeah. those people so yeah. i'm trying to to emulate something else to be something like else 24 you're doing 7. It. you're not trying you're doing yeah. it yeah good yeah thank you yeah so yeah, let's get back to the subject of your Hi. amazing awe inspiring yeah. yeah painting yeah um Another Corona day, simply, you know, another Corona day. And another feeling that uh, the hand should be trained, yeah? Because uh, you you kind of diving inside of yourself and you're painting, you're painting uh, whatever beauty is around you. And uh, yeah, you're diving into it and it is so nice, but yet, you feel that you need to touch some sort of reality of human being, you know? Yeah, you're kind of a bit lost in your house, going like a dog 100 meters there and uh, back, you know? And like you need to see a human being at last. <laughs> yeah, the necklace, the, her necklace becomes a chain, maybe. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. She, she seems like a prisoner of passion. Exactly. Something like exactly. this. She's a In she's a way. she's a force of nature, oh, yeah. wanting to to break free. That's yeah, what exactly. I see. That's what she does, breaking free. 
And it is possible on a canvas, yeah, it is possible on a canvas only to break free truly, yeah, truly. Without any words, yeah, without any, uh, how shall I say, philosophical uh, ideas, yeah, build on uh, some kind of piece of paper, you're just breaking through there, yeah, it is possible there. Yeah. Right? And so... Another Corona day and another drawing session. Yes. This drawing session, very simple. Yeah. Anna Kogan sending you a link. You and all the other artists who would like to attend. And then you open the screen and then you see Anna Kogan. Yeah. Is uh, standing in front of you. Now, because she's my friend, dear, dear friend, really, she's, uh, mm, yeah, I think, I, I can take, uh, the, you know, entire time of this interview, uh, in, uh, speaking about her, right? So, I, I will try no, not to, but it's impossible, simply, because she's the most beautiful soul i ever seen, really, I tell you. Uh, and so... She's asking me, uh, she say, hi, are you there? I say, uh, yeah, I'm there. So she say, well, I was kind of, uh, and she shows, um, <clears throat> she builds each time, uh, you know, the world that she sits in and she plays herself inside of this world. Yeah. And she was asking me a question, right? Whether she is okay inside of this world and uh, if I see the composition, can I kind of, because Iris was ill at the time, and she's asking me, if I see the composition, can I kind of, uh, you know, structure a bit the angle of the camera uh, for the camera to show uh, the thing that Anna Kogan wants to show, right? And I was saying to her, Anna Kogan, first of all, I must tell you, this is beautiful. This is first of all, I must tell you, yeah? And uh, please sit, sit in front of me so I can see what you're talking about. So she sat in front of me and I said, Anna Kogan, this is perfect. What do I need to correct, you know? I mean, what kind of angles of a camera so I can correct here, you know? <laughs> I mean, you're funny, Anna Kogan, yeah? So she was sitting there and it was a portrait uh, drawing session. Right? Uh, so she was sitting there with this necklace. This, this I asked her to do because like uh, uh, the, uh, the necklace that touches the skin of a place that you breathe through, yeah? Mm -hmm. you, you have a breath in mm -hmm. and out, yeah? And when you're doing like that to yourself, you're cutting the breath, yeah? You're cutting the source of life, right? Yes. And you can see it on the skin. Yeah, it gathered mm. near to the necklace. Mm. And this is the place that it is visible from a, a computer screen. She's breathing. <coughs> and you can see it. You can see it in and out. You can see it, right? Yes. So, the chest um, puffing, puffing and huffing. Exactly. Yeah. So she was holding the necklace like that. And she is so professional that she could hold this necklace sitting like that for one hour and a half, mm. not moving, only breathing, right? Sitting mm. there, being there. Now, afterwards, she made a break, of course, because she was a bit, a bit tired, right? And after a break, it was another hour and a half, right? Mm. Now, sitting in my home, I took an old canvas that I started something on and uh, did not proceed, you know, did not proceed. The thing that I was, that I started was uh, people sitting in front of uh, the sea. Yeah, I, I, I'm uh, from time to time going to the sea it's very beautiful to see. <laughs> You'll see the sea. It's beautiful. Right. You'll see. Yes. Yeah. 
So I, I went to there with my canvas and I started something there and people were just looking towards the lion. Yeah, lion. Lion, yeah. When, when a sea meets the, the sky, they were just sitting and yes. looking at it. Yes. Right. Yes. And so I started and I didn't proceed because I needed to go furthermore to the sea but I wasn't fucking, sorry, being able <laughs> because, no, because it was Corona, you know. It's fine. I think it, it fits perfectly with the entire vibe, <laughs> entire vibe of the conversation. So it's gratuitous. Yeah, I, 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 it, it's gratuitous to say sorry af after you said the word fuck. So it's okay. It's fine. I know, but I don't <laughs> like to use it. I don't like to use it. Real, there are uh, no me, like, me neither. Words. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. There There's are a lot, a lot of, of words. words yeah, there are a lot of words in the English and Hebrew exactly. vocabulary that one right. can practice and exactly. to express. Exactly. <laughs> you don't need to. Yeah, but but I think it's fine. It's a bit befitting, befitting. Yeah. Another. Yeah. Yeah, another high, anyway, yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, you know, I kind of, I, I sense that this uh, corona, yeah, will, will do revolution to kind of, uh, to the being because, uh, yeah. Yeah. It showed that uh, you could be in a state when somebody else telling you not to go out of your house, yeah? Not to go see the sun, not to go see the sky, not to go see the sea, yeah? So I, I don't know how did they sense it and I, I had no idea what it is going to be. But anyway, I bought a lot of colors. Yeah, that's what I did anyway. And so it was a lot of colors and each color was so tasty, you know, so tasty. And so I put them, each colors, on uh, in front of me, on a palette. And I put a lot of color. I don't know. I, I was so kind of hungry. I, I, I put a lot. Of each color, I put a lot because I need it, you know? And so um, the brushes was there, but I took a knife. I mean, it was a lot of color and you, you're not being able to use a brush in such state, yeah? You need to kind of uh, give it. A palette you know, knife, yeah. Right, you need to give it, yeah? And so... No, I see you did it entirely with a palette knife. It, yes, it's, a, it's amazing. Entirely. It's amazing to me that, that anyone could just use a palette knife without using a brush to without using like a gesso saw and the oils and stuff like this just using a knife this is yeah, amazing no medium at all no yeah. medium no turpentine no oil yeah no yeah i see that <laughs> i see that yeah. there yeah, is there is no coating or nice. layering it's just mm -hmm. one it's just one layer essentially of palette knife it's one it's it, it is, is very, like a, very masterful. It is very yeah. masterful. It is like when you're difficult. directing a movie, when you're directing a movie, and the scene that you're planning to do, quite long, but you're doing it in one shot, right? Yeah, yeah. So entire, entire preposition, entire happening in front of the eyes, your eyes, yeah? It is one shot, unstoppable. And then it ends right yeah you did and it ends and this is the saddest part you know yes. because it just ended yeah and and uh, the painting is saying to you do not fucking touch me anymore it is all right you did it up you know and you want to do yes. more and, and he but he's saying to you i mean do not touch me yeah can you hear me do not touch me anymore. yeah yes yes so i must hear you know yes um, yeah. If we go about it, and you say that the artist is striving to be some kind of a, a suffering uh, artist that is mm. um, miserable and is always mm. seeking seeking the truth, trying to bring bring life into the art, like a Pygmalion, 
uh, the, the the mythological figure that tried to um, tried to bring back to life uh, 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 his uh, his sculpture, the sculpture that I want to speak, my guy, with your permission about the subject of suffering artist. Okay, uh, this is Go the subject I can speak about for hours, really, and I want to talk about it because it's important, you know. Yes. So, I am a really little Jewish person. Very little I am. Uh, one meter, 50 centimeters, really, uh, little. And I was taught by my grandmother and grandfather that no matter how hard the situation can be, right? You need to uh, not suffer and not cry about it, right? You need to act. And you need to know what you're doing and you need to be happy. You must find this. Yeah, you must find this happiness within yourself. No suffering is needed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He didn't ask you to suffer. Why are you doing it to yourself? He didn't ask you. Mm -hmm. What is this mm -hmm. bullshit, you know? Why should you suffer? Yeah? He made you yeah, by his vision. He's not sitting crying and suffering, believe me, right? What is this bullshit? Do not lose your time upon suffering. It's not needed, yeah? So just uh, take whatever it comes, just take it and feel whatever you need to feel with yourself. And you must find the reason, yeah? You must find the reason to see that good, yeah, good is above all, right? And sometimes the dark, yeah, is coming upon, and sometimes you're losing your vision, yeah? And it is very human uh, to be hurt and to feel uh, that you're about to cry. It is very human. Yet, there must come a moment, yeah, when you understand that you must find it just by glancing, yeah? You must see again that the structure is very clear and the good is above all of it, right? It is very clear. And so from time to time, you're forgetting, yeah, to, to see it, but you must find this moment and remind yourself again that the structure is like that and not uh, like a uh, structure of suffering. Now, I, I, uh, I am getting uh, a bit emotional here because the people are appreciating the suffering artist, you know, the suffering artist. And I'm fucking against it, right? I mean, who are you to tell me to suffer Yeah, for making art? I mean, what, what, the, what the fuck is that? I, I don't need to be suffering for you, right? It's not rational. I, not rational at all. I must be happy. I must be smiling. I must be enjoying life because it is there to enjoy. Uh, what kind of shit is that? I mean, I can find million reasons to suffer. Really, I am. With that, I, I am very modest, yeah? But I can find within myself million reasons to suffer, believe me. And from time to time, they're overwhelming me. And I mm -hmm. am suffering. But I must remind myself that the structure is following the good above all. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. So I, I, I'm not going to be suffer, right? For them people, for their appreciation of the suffering of human being. No, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. No suffering here. <laughs> you know? Mm. <clears throat> yeah, there is an old the uh, Roman, the the Roman the Romans the Roman Empire. I mean, there is an old mm. Roman. Uh, no, sorry, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it back. I'll I'll go back to Sp uh, Spinoza, okay. uh, who okay. said, uh, "You should not, you should not cry, you should not be angry, you should not smile." but seek to understand exactly and that's that is the meaning of life 
the same. Exactly. And yeah. <laughs> it, it's also uh, an ancient Roman etiquette that that is showing emotions will get you killed, essentially. If well, you're, if you're a man with a lot of power and a lot is. of resources, yeah, there are is. many people who want you dead also. Yeah, and <laughs> the, uh, the bottom line of everything you said, I am as a little human being, not prepared to die for <laughs> anyone to enjoy my suffering, right? <laughs> not prepared. No, no. no. Yeah, not fucking do it. No, mm -hmm. nobody wants to die. And anyone is I know, it. but I know, but it can cause me and they do not understand it. Right? It can cause me to, to do so and they do not understand it because yeah. they very appreciate it to my suffering, you know? And mm -hmm. like fuck, fuck this approach. Sorry. Yeah. Because because people don't take First of all, in the modern era, the digital yeah. era, and the corona that has exacerbated the, mm. the effects of the mm. distancing of human beings and the yeah. uh, dissipation and the uh, di dismantling of institutions and social and um, <clears throat> social communities mm. between people, there mm. is there is no unity. We're we're not living living under the Christian uh, Catholic Church exactly. anymore. Exactly. There is no central government that yeah. governs all the laws between yeah. people. You can't do it anymore, and the divide that is mm. happening throughout mm. the world, even though we are more accessible to each other as human beings than ever all mm. around the globe through the use of the the internet and the social media as it's not mm. it will never be the same the cohesion never. the cohesion the the tribal mentality will mm. never get back to where it was because mm. constant constant conflicts between mm. tribes were were some were rare Re relatively rare war mm. and battle is relatively rare but but once upon a time there was a, a lot more war and battle happening because nobody knew each other nobody had communicated through someone was living on the the other side of the mountain and mm. that tribe tried to attack the tribe because they wanted more resources. They ran out of food, food and water and, and shelter, and they don't have yeah. as much uh, money and resources. So they they attack in the middle of the night or in a front a front to front battle where the two armies would meet at a certain location. And yeah, um, so it's very it's very difficult to get back that that cohesion, the tribal cohesion of people who have the, we have the national um, mythos, the epic that is called the Bible, the Jewish mm. Bible, mm. which was spread around the world throughout, mm. throughout history by different mm. peoples and tribes and empires and a whole lot of, uh, <laughs> a whole lot of uh, different different nationalities and tribes and, uh, and empires that conquered uh, yeah. and ideas that went into fruition like the Catholic Church, like the, um, uh, like the reformist church, mm -hmm. the, um, the Puritans, if you call it, mm -hmm. or they, they are called the Protestants. Yeah. Um, so um, I don't know why why I entered this uh, long. Yeah, I tell you why. I tell you why. <clears throat> Let me please reply by uh, starting um, speaking about uh, one tribe going uh, to fight with another. Now you see, everything we do is communication. We are trying to communicate. Yeah, that's what we're doing here, you know. We are trying to communicate with each other, 
uh, with, with whatever we see, with whatever we feel, uh, because uh, it is a communication, right? And so, if you're sitting on one side of the hill and you're kind of uh, running out of uh, means, and also you want to communicate and you want to see something new and you want to get to know actually the people who are behind the hill, right? And one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the actions that you can do in order to get to know, yeah, you can challenge dumb people that are sitting behind the hill. You are attacking them in order to challenge and in order to see what are they built from, right? I mean, you don't know these people, right? So you want to challenge them and you want to get to know them, right? And if it is possible to gain some means after the battle or to be uh, be slave yes. by them. Yeah, exactly. you're taking a chance. Exactly. You're taking a chance. So uh, you have this more is slaves. You, you have more, right. more soldiers, more soldiers. Right. So it's a slaves. part of communication. You're challenging the other in order to see what is he built from, right? And you're attacking, right? And then you're getting to know mm. what is this other built from part of communication yes it's uh yeah. it's very saddening i think the yeah it the, is the, it the, is. the it breakdown is. the it breakdown is. of the communication between human beings yeah. because we are living in a technocracy essentially right. we are we are living in the matrix I have no doubt about it because we are the batteries that mm. charge this entire system. Exactly. Like, like humans were used as batteries for the machines in the matrix. Yes. It is the same. It is yes. one of the same. We don't yes. have to be, we're not living in a virtual reality. Mm. That I don't believe. But yes. I believe that we are we are slowly, uh, slowly and patiently uh, marching towards a future that is very similar in many ways yeah. to that of the, the world of the Matrix. That is yes, we a fictional, are. A fictional world, but we are yeah. starting to see the development of, of a virtual reality and the AI, artificial yeah. intelligence technology. Yes. And mm -hmm. it, is very, it is very frightening and saddening yes. Yes. because humanity is repl replenishing its less less resources of, of empathy of human uh, bonding of communication um it's very saddening because the human spirit seems to be dying down in a lot of senses and the 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 robot ro robot to, <laughs> Uh, technocracy. I, I hear you, guy. I hear uh, you. Taking hear over, you. yeah. Yes. So it's a very, very sad thing, and I think yes, yes, we're, we are striding in a in a very uh, frightening uh, pace towards yes. that future. Yeah, but I tell you what, <clears throat> as a person again uh, who was taught by uh, grandmother and grandfather. Yeah, to see the good above all, right? I tell you what, uh, human being, yeah, as, as far as he continuing uh, to sweep his ass in a toilet, right? As far as he continuing to do that with a piece of paper, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, he, yeah. he's going to stay a human being, right? No matter what, <laughs> human being. Yes. <laughs> with, the, with all the you know good and bad and everything as long and, yeah as long as you have yeah, an opposable much, as long as you have an opposable form, exactly yeah, right you're a exactly human being right. <laughs> yeah so uh, i mean uh, the, uh, those uh, kind of uh, new toys new toys it's not new at all it's not new it was existing since ever it's not new at all it just simply was existing in the mind and now it is brought up to light that's it yeah, and you, you know, you guy, you're gonna stay a human being that I'm talking to right now. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm an no organic, other, I'm an organic I mean, being. You have no other choice but to stay the guy that I'm talking to. 
I'm going to develop yeah. and you're going to change, but it's going to be the guy that I'm following. Yeah, I'm right? just 70% carbon and 97% water. And no that's, problem. that's it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, but we are, we are human beings and we are social yeah. creatures. Yeah. And we have our primal past that uh -huh. is haunting us. Yeah. And after we evolved to yeah. be homo sapiens, we are still animals and we have an animalistic instincts and yes. nobody can shake that. No. Evolution is not that fast. It's no. not that fast. No. It will take, <laughs> it'll okay. take a long while before human beings stop being an being human being. Yeah. And feeling like human time. beings. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, guys, what can I tell you? Not in our lifetime. You can be uh, quiet. You know? I hope so. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> not in our lifetime. It's going to happen. Uh, not in the lifetime of your children and grandchildren. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, yet. perhaps. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's reasonable. Telling. It's reasonable to. So, uh, yeah, be, be just be happy, you know. it's Everything is all right, I tell you. Everything <laughs> is all right. Yeah, yeah. Good, good above all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I think, just a moment, uh, yeah, I think we should, uh, end it here. Yeah, no, what we, because it, this, it, this is a, a, the exact point to end it, yeah? It yeah, I think so. It That's came to, an, it, yeah, no it, matter what, no it matter came to a, It came to a natural end. Exactly. When you go when you go to a divorce lawyer and you yeah. point out the reasons why you divorce and say, well, it came to a natural and I, if you may if you may see it was a circle. Yeah. It oh. started with that. It, it it was a mathematical structure. We didn't plan it. We we're a human being. We we don't have any fucking clue what are we doing here. Yeah, but it was a circle. Yeah, I sure do not know. And anyone who says he knows. I'm yeah. sure that I won't listen to him. Exactly. For sure, for sure. For yeah. that, I'm sure that he <laughs> is not sure for certain. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. I will never listen to someone who, exactly. who tries to sell me certainty. Never. Exactly. Right. I'm on the, like, like Bill Maher said, you know, Bill Maher, the stand up comedian. Yeah. He said, uh, I'm on the corner with doubt. I'm, a, I, I'm on the corner with doubt. I'm okay. not with the certain, I'm not with the fanatics, yeah, as we yeah. say, yeah. Yeah. So I want to thank you so much. This has been a shaking experience, I think. I think I'm shaking to my very core because you are so interesting and vivacious and colorful person that I think, I think it's a sin that I ask you to present yourself because you present yourself the best. You don't have to talk about yourself. You're just, <laughs> you're just. Yeah. Okay, so I want to thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. I enjoy it as well, as much as you do. Bye. Namaste. Arigato Namaste, right? <laughs> Namaste. Okay, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next episode.